Hello and welcome to today's episode of Beautiful Books, which looks at the Folio Society's edition of Japanese Tales, a collection of 170 quaint, comic and curious tales that delve into medieval Japanese culture. The binding of this edition is both deluxe and distinctive. It's a large sized fine edition that's slightly above a regular edition in quality. The book features a beautiful blocked wraparound image on a tactile blue and green woven cloth that almost shimmers. The slip case has been die cut so that the silver moth stamped on the case literally gazes through the case at the silvery moon on the cover of the book. The top page edge block is silver gilt, although the sides are not. The book has a red ribbon bookmark and the end papers are illustrated with a printed Japanese wave design. The paper used for this edition is the thick creamy abbey wove often favoured by the Folio Society and the book has been crafted by the Italian Lego SPA, a family-owned enterprise with almost 120 years of fine printing and publishing behind them. The book is thoughtfully illustrated by Yuko Shimizu, a Japanese artist located in New York with illustrations that were specially commissioned for this folio edition. Her artwork reflects the traditional style of art that matches the time period of the stories while also retaining a contemporary modern flair. The illustrations are beautiful and they really glow. The stories in this collection are not your typical Japanese folk tales. These are well-researched and legitimately old medieval stories that I imagine are even uncommonly known in Japan today. The tales themselves were gathered by Royal Tyler, a noted scholar and translator of Japanese literature, from a number of different sources. The stories vary in length from a single paragraph to several pages, and they cover a great range of themes. Tyler has arranged the tales loosely by topic, with four in each category. The book includes eight full-colour ink and brush illustrations and several grey block illustrations that appear alongside the topical headings. It's important to note that the original collection volume contains more tales than are in the Folio Society edition. Royal Tyler's first collection of these tales contained 220 tales and 50 of these have been dropped for the Folio Society edition. The introductory essay, which is excellent by the way and provides very valuable context for the tales, is the same introduction that you'll find in the trade editions, except that a few sentences that refer to the missing tales have also been deleted. Unfortunately, there was no reason given for the missing stories, which I find a bit annoying, but since the collection itself was originally taken from a wide array of sources, you don't get the feeling that the shorter folio collection has been abridged in any way when you read it. This is a lovely edition, and I absolutely recommend it if you have any interest in folklore or Asian medieval history, despite the higher than usual price. For collectors, it's also worth noting that this book was produced in a much smaller print run than usual, with only 2,000 copies printed, in comparison to the usual run of three to 5,000. So when it goes out of print, it's likely to be very scarce on the secondhand market. If you're looking for other fine volumes in this genre of medieval Japanese tale, there's actually not many alternatives available for collectors. This style of tale was introduced to Western audiences by the Japanese publisher Takajiro Hasegawa, who published French and English language editions of these Japanese tales, printed on crepe-like paper and illustrated with exquisite Japanese woodblock colour illustrations, from around 1885 through to the mid-1920s. The most famous and expensive of these collections is a small five-volume set of stories translated by Lafcadio Hearn that Hasegawa published in the 1920s, and this routinely costs between two to three thousand for the set in fine condition. Eastern Press also released a deluxe limited edition that's a facsimile of the original Green Willow and other Japanese fairy tales, which is a selection of 38 tales and legends collected by Grace James 
and illustrated beautifully by Warwick Goebel. The first deluxe edition of 1910 was limited to only 500 copies, while the now out of print Eastern Press leather bound facsimile was printed with about 1200 copies and contains 40 tipped in illustrations. There was also a much cheaper Color Editions copy of this title as well, although that one's also now out of print. On the other hand, if you're just looking for a cheap version of the Royal Tyler Tales to read, there are many non collectible trade editions available which often also have the bonus of including all 220 tales. The Pantheon Fairy Tale and Folklore Library, for example, does a nice edition in paperback or Kindle, which even has some black and white illustrations. And this would be a cheaper way to get a feel for the stories before splurging on a fine edition. I personally am also looking out for a nice copy of another Royal Tyler collection called The Tale of the Heike, which is known as Japan's equivalent of the Iliad. As always, thanks for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And I look forward to next time. Bye.